Hey, welcome back to the channel, friends. Man, I am stoked to see you. So, doing my follow up for the QA, and as it turns out, this should be like the day before the day before Christmas Eve or something like that. So, we're getting really sticking close. So, I'm really excited about Christmas. I hope you guys are too. Um, times are what they are, but you know, when you have this opportunity to, to, to be with friends and family and uh, celebrate what's really important. I, I think there's something special about that. So I'm going to try to get through all of uh, the, the Q&A, and I'm going to start off with one that was actually um, kind of sent over to me from my Patreon. And as a Patreon, I kind of have to give this dude uh, uh, some, some epic props. He's, he's been a huge supporter uh, of mine uh, this, this whole time. And he asked, uh, the one thing I'll bring here is, hey, man, I'm really looking forward to a live video feed, right, uh, a live stream. And is one coming in? And the answer is yes. Uh, and I think we're probably looking at first part of January. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, let me know. I, I mean, I'm probably going to do it like 6 o'clock in the morning or something. Um, my time, left coast time. I know it kind of gets it a little earlier for some people who's on the left coast, but for pretty much everybody else in the world, which, yeah, I'm so stoked, man. Uh, man, I got dudes popping in from, from Portugal and Australia England, Canada, just all over the place, leaving some really quality comments and some good feedback and stuff. And man, I really appreciate that. So let's keep that rolling. Hey, on that note, let's get a uh, a, a quick shout out from our sponsor. <laughs> had uh, a question over uh, on the Instagram, and, then, and we'll bring it back over to uh, the YouTube channel. On Instagram, a guy said, uh, uh, recommendation for shoes or boots, uh, and, and I want to answer that one, but I'm going to have to, he, he left so many things, like quality comments really more is what they are for future videos and I do have a video that I'm going to do on how to select the right boots and shoes. Uh, any snow or, or hiking, uh, snow hiking or camping videos in the future? I hope so. I'm trying to get out. <laughs> I do. I want to get out in the snow. I don't laminate uh, my own maps. I haven't done so in a while. You can uh, laminate them, but obviously when you do, or if you put them inside a map protector or something like th of this nature, uh, now you're gonna be using map markers. So just remember that your accuracy is going to decrease. Uh, do I carry any uh, self-defense uh, weapons uh, while I'm out? Uh, mm, a knife and hands, do those count? I think those count as lethal weapons, according to the government. <laughs> um, I have taken a 45 with me on uh, a few occasions. Uh, does my wife do my questions, uh, or does my wife do, she doesn't do my questions. <laughs> does my wife do uh, my camera work for me? And the answer is no. I'm a one-man show when I'm out and about, so uh, my wife is hugely supportive. Uh, you know, we've been married for since 97, so we've been, we've been kicking at this thing for a few years. Uh, and she's been wildly supportive. Uh, uh, but I, I don't know if I, how I could handle somebody else doing my camera work for me. I think I would get weird about that. If you could see the things that I see, one of these days maybe I'll do a, a making of a video and I'll have a, a recording of me behind the camera making a recording. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Uh, so we'll start off, actually, let's go to uh, the comment section next, or the community tab. I think we had a few comments there, and then we'll go to the actual video. So in the community tab, I had, uh, I had a few questions, and bam, here we go. Man, you guys hit me from all over the place, man. I'm super appreciative of that. I'm going to start off with, down at the bottom, is Paul McKenzie. Uh, what's the worst conditions I've ever had to do land nav in? Um, and then how did you overcome them? So, you know, I don't want to get into too much of, you know, some of the navigation things I've done in a couple of the environments I've been in, because I don't know that those are the worst. It's, 
uh, conditions, but they were definitely the worst conditions. If, if what I just said, if you couldn't pick up what I was putting down, um, sorry. You know, but doing uh, land nav in the pouring down rain in the middle of the night through uh, triple canopy jungle, <laughs> man, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. So I, I think that's probably ultimately, you know, the, the worst condition. Uh, you know, double and triple canopy jungle in the middle of the night, in the pouring down, like, monsoon-style rain. Um, in those conditions, as well as any other conditions, like the second half of the question, Paul, is, you know, how did you overcome it? And to be honest with you, it's uh, uh, knuckleheadedness, <laughs> the, the, the ability to know, uh, remember the basics, you know, and, and just keep pushing after things um, to, to get it all done. Uh, the Magic Man says, uh, what's your MOS in the Army? Uh, he was an 88 uh, Lima. Uh, looks like it's a watercraft engineer. That's pretty stinking cool, right? Watercraft engineer. Um, when I came in, I, I know I've shared this before, uh, and you can look in the Stoker Mania playlist uh, for more about Stoker. Uh, when I came into the Army, I was offered 25 Quebec or hit the road, and I did not hit the road. Brad says, uh, thoughts on carrying a pistol or carbine for the woods uh, for defense. He, uh, 357 lever action brings him back to being a kid. I bet that is a fun weapon, man. I bet that's a fun weapon. Uh, so I actually, I have no cause or concern, especially depending on where you're going, about carrying a, a firearm. One, because... <laughs> <laughs> America. <laughs> oh man, you, can, you, can't, you can't make this stuff up, right? You can't make this stuff up. Uh, two, because there are things out there that will kill you, right? There's things out there that will, that will, that will tear you apart. Remember that Puma video we saw earlier this year? Like the pants and pants and Puma video. <laughs> what are you gonna do, man? You're gonna shoot it and then eat it. <laughs> um, not, not to mention, you know, Brad, um, I like, I'm not overly concerned about coming across a two-legged uh, animal. Right? But I, I'm way more concerned about the four-legged creatures that are out there. Uh, but that being said, you know, the, the two-legged ones that are out there who mean no good, they're pretty stinking dangerous, especially when you're out in the middle of the woods. Uh, Brad asked a couple other questions like, uh, Marking a truck on a map and finding a way back, man, I will do that. Uh, maybe this week I'll try to work on that. That's not really a question to, to answer here, but I, I will answer that in a video format. I've done that before, but I, I've been meaning to, to get back out and do, do some more. Uh, the preparedness guy says, what's the best thing about 2020 to me? Right, the best thing about 2020 to me, man, I, am, I don't know. Um, I think my favorite thing about 2020 is uh, A, the ability to slow down, right? Trying to turn negatives into positives. Uh, it's one of the things that I do, or try to do anyways, turn, turn a negative into a positive. Um, but, I, you know, I, I'm super stoked about the channel. I'm super stoked about the time I've been able to, to share with my wife. And although my time has not been largely impacted, I've been at work every single day, all year long, except for 14 days uh, earlier this month. Uh, so in the middle of all the shutdowns and going to Central Mission Manning and all that stuff, I, I've been one of those guys at work. Um, but it did give me a lot of time to focus on the channel and, and hobbies. And like I said, my wife is super supportive. Uh, Brad talks about printing your own uh, maps of your area. Again, man, go to the USGS. I have a video on that. Uh, you can, making your own map of the area, I have kind of talked about that in uh, a couple of my videos with using a compass without a map. Uh, and, and I'll do some more. Roasts and squirrels, rabbits, heck yes. So lots more uh, video content style things. And we'll do some more of that. Uh, Anthony says, 
uh, how being a self-starter is required uh, to get where you want to in life, especially in the military. And, and, and I will address these things. I think they deserve their own video as well. Another topic, SFAS uh, Q course. They definitely have, uh, one, excuse me, for the STAR course, definitely have a video coming up for the STAR course. Rope tying, and I have a couple on those. Uh, Damien Taylor, I'm actually going to come to you last. I'm going to come to you last, Taylor Swift. So let's come over here to the video. <laughs> I can do that. He can suck it up. Wait, not that one. Yes, it's this one. Here we go. Uh, so Joe says, a, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> that's awesome, man. You guys are replying to each other. Uh, so Joe says, I can't think of a wisecrack show. Think of it. Well, I, I can think of one for you, Joe. I think, I, think, I think you were poking fun at my lime green pencil. Yeah, I still got this bad boy. <laughs> Who can keep a lime green pencil for almost a year? Like, name me one, na you, come here. Like, find me one person in the world who can keep a lime green pencil for a year with purple eraser head and purple clip that is broken and not throw it away, not abandon it. This is legendary. I still have it. Ha! <laughs> uh, next up, uh, James asks, uh, talking about using mills instead of degrees. Man, I will do a video on, on mills and degrees. I, I think that's too much of a, of a one-off for a, a short you know, Q&A video. Um, yeah, but I'm going to tell you, don't... Don't use mills. Unless you have a really big compass. Uh, and then he left a good uh, website for a conversion. That's, that's awesome. Kyle says, um, thinks I'm a squared away dude. Appreciate you, man. Um, I always like to think I cook as a hobby. Am I a self-made chef? Uh, do I enjoy cooking? Yes, I love cooking, man. <laughs> I think I've made that obvious uh, when I've gone out camping. Um, plates or meals, uh, my go-to. Uh, so... Kyle, no, I think I got through all your questions. So Kyle, ultimately, I have no stinking clue what I'm doing. I'm just making stuff up as I go along and hoping that it turns out uh, good. And it always kind of does. Because, you know, cooking, once you kind of get a few things, it's just experimenting. And I love cooking. Unfortunately, my style of cooking is is more expensive because I do a lot of experimentation and I like using fresh ingredients. Um, then it's more expensive than the cooking that we normally do in the house. So I, I don't do most of the cooking. Uh, although everybody loves my cooking. I love my wife's cooking. So <laughs> don't, get it, don't get it sideways, mister. Uh, she's a great cook. Um, but I guess you would say that I'm mostly a self-made um, I don't want to call myself a chef, but I, I do do some things pretty good. Uh, so I smoke meat really well, like brisket and clod. Like, and even most brisket dudes don't even know what a shoulder clod is. Uh, but shoulder clod, right? 33 stinking pounds of meat. Um, smoke the heck out of that. Uh, I, I do enjoy cooking a lot of uh, Mexican food. Being a border kind of guy, I, I like, uh, but really more new Mexican Mexican food. For those of you who know, you know. Um, yeah. Um, Patriot says, uh, man, I started off with another compliment, and man, I appreciate it. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm a one-up you, Patriot, because uh, right now I'm feeling that kind of guy. Um, because, you know, when you have your sponsor on your side, uh, there's just only so many buildings that you can't jump over. Um, I think I have the most underrated channel on YouTube for what I do. The most underrated channel. The most underrated channel on YouTube. Um, 
All right, here we go. I appreciate uh, you, you hanging out so much. That's awesome. Questions laying out, but I pass on the questions to those. As, but, well, shoot me your questions, all right? So, Patri- um, uh, stokermatic at gmail.com. Shoot me your questions, and uh, we'll either carry on in an email or we'll carry on in a video format, and I'll shoot one up. Where do, the, where do I see the U.S. in one to five years? And what role do I think line, like-minded folks like us will be in it? Um, concern, it, heading into uneasiness. I'm going to try to get through the bulk of this. Um, where we came from this great nation. I hope you're okay. Man, I'm I am I'm okay. I, I didn't need to make a, a, a doctor's appointment. I saw the wife. I'm still becoming really easily winded um, off of not doing a whole lot of cardio work. So a little cause of concern. Chest feels heavy, if that, if that makes sense, sometimes. Most of the time, uh, so I do look forward to getting your other your other questions. Um, one to five years, I think that's really kind of the good way to look at it. You know, what, what are the short term? And I was just talking to my father-in-law when we took Riggs and, and his doggy on a, on a walk for uh, about three miles, which, to be honest with you, it wore me the hell out. Like I was a little concerning. Um, but I. I, I I feel you in your concern, um, and, and my father-in-law, he, he's a really good dude, super smart, uh, retired Air Force uh, helicopter pilot of all, of all things in the world, who did some really amazing uh, and interesting um, missions. And I think where I differ from a lot of folks, look man, I know that if I was you know, hard one way or another, if I lived on the fringe, that it would make you know my channel you know not so small, right? It would probably grow in size because people like that kind of stuff, right? Whether it's all true or not, you know, pushing stuff to the fringes is what gains attraction, if you will. Being in the middle, being more grassrootish. And that's kind of my leadership style, right? I believe, I because be, I believe in this stuff. Does that make sense? Like I really do, and and I think about it long enough, and so I, I, I uh, conclude, therefore, that I need to approach things in a different way, and so I start from from the why first, right? I, I think that's really most important. I start from the why first, and I think that everything will work out in the end. I'm not complaining about my channel. Uh, I love it, and I love you guys. Uh, but I think ultimately um, that having a healthy dose of skepticism is a good thing. I think it helps keep us grounded and rooted in, in reality. I do think that in I think in one year. Um, there's so many different angles to approach this, and, and one of the things I was t- t- telling my father-in-law was, you know, like, what happens when what you think is going to happen doesn't happen? What happens then? And then what? I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I hope it does, because I think it's really important um, to be careful on what we're proclaiming and how we're proclaiming and how much faith and trust we're putting in why we proclaim this. Right, because if I said you know the the, the country is going to fall apart, which I don't think is going to happen, but if I said, look, man, the country is going to fall apart, everything is going to hell in a handbasket, and it's all because of of the commies that are out there and running everything, <laughs> right? Well, what happens when that doesn't happen? Then then a my fear was rooted in something that was. Uh, psychologically wrong, right? It was, it, was, it, was, it was the wrong thing. I was demonizing people who maybe shouldn't have been demonized. It was rooted in an ideology that proved to be wrong, and I need, therefore I need to face up to it, own it, admit it, and move on. But most of us aren't willing to do that. So I think, you know, I think in two years, to be quite honest with you, I, I think that's where the biggest turn is going to happen. Because I think in the next two years, we're going to, we will see, uh, I, I've seen it coming in the military, I see it coming uh, in the civilian place. Uh, a little bit more liberalism c- coming in. And some of that is fine, right? At the end of the day, I'm not opposed um, to, to some things. Um, 
And I think in two years, though, that I think the midterms are going to help do things. But you know, we've seen it time and again. My wife and I were talking about that. You know, the ebb and flow uh, in politics and in how the country wants things to move and to operate. Unfortunately, politicians they don't care, so they just keep doing what they want to do. Um, and then I, I, I think in four years we may see a shift uh, again, uh, but you know, we'll see. This could be, you know, the start of the f one-term presidents. You know, we, we've had two-term presidents for such a long time, but we did, we've never gone from two-term Republican to two-term Republican or two-term Democrat to two-term Democrat, right? We've never done that. And again, that kind of goes back to uh, the, that ebb and flow and, and the change in dynamics and uh, priorities and things of this nature. So I don't know, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm optimistically hopeful and ready uh, to, to, to drop a retirement package. <laughs> uh, Denise, yeah, man, I'm not afraid of your questions. I'm not afraid of your questions. She also, uh, I think, Denise, I think you need to uh, do a lot more videos on, on the things that you know because you know a lot of stuff. Jamie says... Um, I uh, wonder what vets think about uh, a dude like him who was 16 at the end of the Vietnam uh, War and didn't go in, instead uh, chose a different path. And Jamie, man, I, I don't think anybody thinks anything negative about people who didn't serve. Um, I, I don't have a negative bias when I see somebody who's older and w isn't a vet. Like, no negative bias at all. Um, and I would tell you, you know, just from me to you, and I guess to everybody else, Jamie, don't, don't second guess yourself either, right? When we live with doubt and with questioning our, our, our choices that we make, it can lead to doubt to such a degree that it will impact, it will impact our mental and our spiritual health. So you've made the choices that you've made for a reason, and you wouldn't be in the place where you are now had you made any other choice. So I hope that this Christmas season finds you around family and friends and, and everything that you're grateful for in this life. And remember that had, had you made a different decision, things could have been a whole lot different. Kevin B says, uh, I'm a Western Washington kind of guy, and I am right now uh, in the Penin uh, South Sound area. Uh, where are some good areas I love to get out into the woods and, and go camping? I love the, uh, I love portions of the Gifford. And, and although I love, you know, the South Mount St. Helens area, it's way overcrowded. And when I like to go out into the woods, I don't like to feel like I'm alone. Uh, I do love uh, the Olympic National Forest, and m mostly speaking, if you head off into a national forest and do some dispersed camping, you can find an area relatively quickly that will give you that, that sense of aloneness. But in, in the Olympic National Forest, there is, a, there is a valley that pretty much nobody goes in, and it's, it's uh, off the hump tulips. So check that out, man. Check that out. Eric D, what's my thoughts about carrying a firearm? I, I normally don't do one when I'm hiking, um, but when I'm camping, nor normally I will have one. Jeff uh, Meadows was asking a really pretty cool question about using a, figuring out your declination when you don't have uh, a declination diagram and maybe you're off grid and you can't look, look what it up is and it's not on your map. And, and I think I'll, may, I'll put this on the list for a video as well, Jeff, but yes, the answer to your question, how you would approach this would be yes, but you need to have your map oriented, right? Have your map oriented and then shoot an azimuth to Polaris if you can see it and then map or compass on the map, and then that difference between true north, how your map is oriented, and then uh, grid north or uh, magnetic north, you, you should be able to see that. And I'll try to do that here because I have such a large 
declination that it should be fairly obvious. And then Mr. Joshua, man, you're going to be the last one I'm going to be able to answer uh, in this format. He said he just watched a video, not my video, because my video would have been better than that video. <laughs> I'm Josh and Joshua. Uh, actually, Taylor, I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, can you use a, a wristwatch um, as a uh, compass? And the answer is yes, you can use it as a field expedient compass. It will help give you cardinal directions, and I will do a video on that. Uh, what, are, what are my thoughts about that to use as an emergency? And I, I think it's great. Um, and not so much because you're going to be able to use it. Uh, this deserves its own video, too. Um, a lot of skills that we focus in on and learn I hope to God you never have to use them. Like if you have to use a wristwatch as a compass, man, you are in a really up situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I think that there is a day-to-day -day application of having it ingrained in your head that I want to learn these things. Just like... I, I, the, the, there's a practical reason to be able to know how to work on your own car and troubleshoot things. And, and it, it, hopefully you never have to do anything drastic, right? Hopefully your car never falls apart. But knowing that with a few tools and a little bit of time, you can. And you've proven that by, by doing smaller projects. It, it builds character, right? It builds character. Um, and there are some other field expedient ways that you can uh, make compasses, whether it's uh, uh, using a, make a, a, you know, a shadow stick method and uh, just using celestial stars as well. And um, you can even a couple other things, I guess. But um, most of them are, 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 are good. Some of them will give you cardinal directions only in a short period of time. Some of them you can get uh, a little bit more specific. So Taylor Swift asks, uh, and he's in up in the upper right uh, portion of the country. Him and I go back uh, a, 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 few, a few moons, as I used to say. We go back a few moons, in a few moons, whatever. Uh, am I going to cover the top movies that you must see? Now, that's not, and he used the quotation marks, so I'm, I may misquote it now, uh, but that's not what I called it. I think I said that the list was... The, the top movies that everybody must see before they call themselves a man list or something to that effect. And I, I will address it, and I want to address it, and I have a, a, some company outside making all kinds of noises, and it's really irritating me right now that I don't have a studio I can shoot this in. Um, but there are movies that I think everybody needs to see uh, in life, especially in the younger generation. And what I'm going to do... Uh, as we get closer to closing this thing out, is I'm going to push up uh, it's two pages uh, of, of this uh, list of videos and, and then some TV shows. And look through it and tell me if you think that I'm crazy. right? You tell me if you think I'm crazy. And I'll tell you that I'm not sticking crazy because I think everybody needs to see these movies. 